Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you my dust collector. It's got a double cyclone action and it's a bit unique. It's not like all the other videos that I've seen and I'll tell you all the differences and you can decide for yourself if it is 99.6% effective or not. So let's talk about this old vacuum I picked up from a heap of scrap in one of the sheds. Its motor was burned out. I opened it up and there was a wire that was on the field coils that was burned. So I fixed it, uh, connected it with uh, connectors and now it's running uh, quite nice. It's very noisy. <laughs> Someday I'll, I'd like to put it outside, uh, it's very noisy in here. Uh, so it can be fixed, but the problem I had was that the motor kept on burning out again. That same wire kept on burning and I fixed it for about four times. And I realized that this bag on the inside uh, that collects the dust got clogged with the fine dust particles that comes from my uh, table saw and it overheats and every time the wires burn out so I had to make a plan to prevent that uh, fine sawdust to get into the vacuum cleaner so that it doesn't burn out. This is how the filter bag looks on the inside. It's just a normal cloth bag but it's thick and it gets clogged easily and that's why this old motor keeps on, it keeps on burning out. I cleaned the bucket on the inside obviously like all the other videos can't see properly, the lighting is not that good, but it's clean, there's old garbage gooey stuff in there that I can't get out, but the bucket is clean. Now over to the double cyclone dust collector. I didn't design anything. I just watched videos on YouTube on how you guys do it and I first went for the one bucket system where I had this bucket I'll get it out I only had this bucket and with, a, with this pipe a 2 inch PVC pipe entering over here but it was extending to about over here on the inside and on the top I've mounted a 2 inch PVC male threaded coupler this, these buckets it's oil drums that lies around on the farm we use a lot of oil and it's got a triple seal you can see there is a triple seal and it's very difficult to open when you completely push down the lid so I only push it down up to the second lid on the inside you can see that I've the PVC pipe was too long on the inside it was up to about here you can see that I've cut it off with the axle I changed the blade to 45 degrees and I cut it off as close to this edge as possible the reason for that was when I every time I opened the lid there was a lot of sawdust collecting on top of this pipe 
Um, it was lying on the pipe, so I attached another piece of plastic on top of the pipe to try to prevent that. And even more sawdust collected on top of this piece of plastic. So I just cut it off and used a glue gun to glue it onto this hole over here. Uh, a nice tip that I saw from another guy was to use this cut off piece over here and put it onto this bucket on the outside and draw the lines for the hole and then cut it out by any means with, with your jigsaw or with the hobby knife or any sharp object. So it's very simple, 2 inch PVC pipe attached with uh, hot glue on the inside and on the outside and the pipe is as short as possible. Now for what happened was this vacuum, although it's very noisy, has got great suction power. Every time I put the pipe on here and the front end of the suction hose got closed, closed up or I put my hand in front of it, this whole bucket collapsed. So I tried to think of something. I saw some guys put a wooden piece of wood in there with a hole on the one side. Uh, it sounded like too much work of me, for, for me. That's the thunder outside. It's raining in South Africa. We farmers are happy. So what I did was I put another piece of I took another bucket and cut its bottom piece off. I've got plenty of buckets. Unfortunately, this system takes us three buckets. I've cut this bottom part off like this and I sealed it with this weathering tape as you can see and I've cut holes in the bottom and bent the fins in the same direction that the vortex uh, uh, this wooden handle in here so that uh, it's easy to remove to clean or whatever you want to do with it so then I made this piece that easily fits in there and it fits tight but still it didn't work well uh, there was still a lot of dust coming through to the vacuum cleaner so I decided to cut off this bucket's bottom throw it away and just find another bucket and put weathering tape on the inside rim over here this is the broad tape and I carefully trimmed it down with a very sharp hobby knife because it was too thick and I trimmed it down to this size uh, as you can see uh, this is a very handy uh, tape to use for all kinds of seals to, to keep dust out and keep dust in so let's put it together back again uh, so what you see over here is a plastic strip that I heated up and bent and fixed with uh, hot glue because what happens is the suction is too much for uh, the buckets it, the, the vacuum sucks it all down up to the bottom so what I did is I put some white plastic thick plastic strips I attached it over here and so the bucket doesn't go down all the way 
it leaves space for the sawdust at the bottom and I think what's happening over here is that the cyclone as I call it creates another vortex and the sawdust that collects at the bottom stays down there and doesn't have a chance to escape back into the outlet pipe that goes to the vacuum cleaner. Connecting your pipes to this system is very easy. Uh, as I said, this male coupler over here is uh, when you file down the thread it goes in very tightly over here then this swimming pool pipe that's got a piece of 2 inch PVC attached to the tapered end fits into that vacuum cleaner very tightly it goes on top over here also a tight fit and the suction pipe I bought one of these you, you find these under your wash basins it's got a, a flex, nice flexibility and the thicker end of the swimming pool pipe fits exactly in there very nice tight fit and it fits very nicely over here as well so everything can be disassembled very quickly like this you can just pull out the pipes clean out everything uh, check what you want and put it back as I said earlier everything fits perfectly and very easy to disassemble this one goes in here and this one on top this flexible pipe just goes over there and you'll have to excuse the noise this that uh, this vacuum cleaner is very very noisy and this swimming pool pipes makes a weird whistling sound when it's sucking uh, it's like those pipes that you bought for the children when they were small that you swirled around and it made di different whistling noises but let's see what happens here's a bucket of 300 grams of sawdust let's pour it out start off, start off this noisy machine and you can see what happens a nice whistling sound something I didn't expect maybe someone's got uh, advice for me maybe I should put another adapter on the front so that it doesn't whistle like that for me now let's empty the bucket and see what's happening I'm just clamping the bottom bucket with my feet because it's kind of tight with this withering tape over here let's put this aside if you can see in there let's see if I can move the lighting I'm going to empty it into this bucket
This bucket, believe it or not, doesn't weigh exactly the same as this one. This one is the one I measured with at the beginning. Now let's bring blood close to the camera. So let's, I picked up this shavings and let me pour it into the bucket. The one that I've used to measure out the 300 grams. Let me get some more lighting over there. Maybe zoom in. Okay, it's on zero. Let's see what's happening here. Two hundred and ninety eight. I've lost two grams. I think it's the small particles that went through I'm doing the calculations over here 298 divided by 300 that's 99.3 percent effective that's good enough for me but one thing I want to tell you that I think of doing I'm making a noise in the background I'm taking off the lid but I'll show you right away what I think of doing is we've got lots of filters lying around on the farm this is a 50 millimeter adapter I think of screwing a filter with a 50 millimeter uh, opening onto here not a big one about this size just to keep the fine particles from entering the exit pipe to the vacuum cleaner and I think if I do that it will be 100% effective now it's 297 someone took a gram 